Hi guys, welcome to a new video. This is a brand new game that we're playing. This is called Mutiny Pirate Survival. This is a brand new game from the developers Helio. Now, I know what you're saying. Helio, that sounds very familiar. They make another survival game, don't they? You are correct. They make none other than Westland Survival. The same developers that have made Westland Survival, great as it is, have come out with a brand new game. This has only been out for the last few days. I believe it was uh, June 16th to be exact that this game did hit the Play Store. Now, I don't believe it's on iOS App Store. So this would be only for the Android um, users out there that will be using Android based devices. So unfortunately at this stage, I haven't found or seen anything from the Apple App Store. So apologies there guys, but this is a brand new game. This is all pirate based. So Westland Survival, cowboy based. Mutiny, pirate based. Let that sink in for a second. Now, about this game, this has some key differences compared to other games that we've played in this genre being survival based. Now, what we have at the moment, just to give you guys a bit of a backstory, now I'm just gonna read what's on from the game um, uh, description. So, survivors are pirate in the Caribbean. After a mutiny on your ship, you find yourself at a lonely island, uh, sorry, uh, lonely island with no food, no weapons, and just a couple of sailor men by your side who stayed loyal to you through the mutiny. Yet when you have nothing to lose, the real f uh, freedom begins. Now you're a pirate. Go get your stuff together and lead your small crew, turning this deadly survival into some drop dead adventure. Fight your way through the wilderness and build your fort, protect your belongings and your lives. You have to become a fortunate, a, a fortunate pirate, and pretty darn soon. Otherwise, well, dead men tell no tales, and you want to tell your pirate sport, uh, story, don't you, Captain? Ahoy! So that's just a bit of a backlog, a bit of a description of the game, how you sort of come to be on this island to get yourself started. Now. Let's go ahead and start the little quest that we have here at the minute. So we have to open up our quest log here. And basically if you want, you can um, read through the tutorial steps if you like, if you want to hit pause and then continue on with the video as it is. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to, this is our base. We're gonna start repairing a few things here and there and we're going to finally begin this little tutorial. Now, I have played this for about an hour just to sort of get a bit of an idea and an understanding on what to expect, what to look for just at the beginning of the game, just to give you guys a bit of a dis uh, disclaimer, but also help myself and help you guys along as well at the same time, just so we know what's going on. Now, what we wanna do here at the minute is we wanna grab a few things here. So let's go ahead and equip this and equip this and take all of this. This will update our tutorial step from one and we can go over to our fellow over here and complete that action. We can go into the inbox here and we can check our items and see what's in here. While we're here, let's have a quick look. Now, for you Westland faithful, you will notice that a lot of this is very Westland centric. So it's only just been overlaid with a brand new skin from what I can see at the minute. But again, as I said, there are some key differences in this game, which I'm going to get into um, in a little in a little bit. So just sort of giving you guys a bit of an idea what you can see here and what's going on. It has been fully set up, ready to go as a brand new game as itself. And as you can see here, you've got your little bits and pieces, very, very similar to that of Westland Survival. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick little rundown. We have completed the first quest there. I want to go ahead and equip this first off and just to give you guys a bit of an idea. So from the bottom, that's where we've got our inventory. If we go here, we've got our workbench list and everything like that. Hit the repair all here, very similar to that of Westland. You've got the VIP option there if you want to go down that pathway. Here, this is where it gets interesting. So for the short hour that I was actually playing this game, we have two sailors 
that will stick with us with throughout our adventure. Now, I don't know how long these guys are going to be around here for, but I figured I'd bring this up right now as we are sort of, um, you know, finding our way around the menu system and everything else in between. You've got our crew there. Um, there's uh, hirelings here. You can add additional guards from your neighborhoods, applicants as well that want to, um, I, I would imagine, join or anyone that you rescue, I, I guess. There's still a few things that I, I'm not too familiar with just yet, but like I said, I stumbled upon this game earlier today, had a quick look at it, had a bit of a research with it, and wanted to make a video, so here we go. You got your quest journal. Um, going back to the um, inventory section where you can purchase things and your internal inventory, then you got your blueprint, uh, blueprints here, so everything that you can craft and get things going. Um, nicely and everything else there as you can see you've got some upgraded um, clothing there's weapons there's um, what else is there you've got um, weapon parts you've got uh, bandages copper axes pickaxes copper tools and fasteners things like that you've got some heels you've got some light clothing as well all that sort of good stuff as you can see here so we should, we may have enough to get ourselves going, but what we're going to do is we're going to continue on and we're going to see what's going on with this. So the training step two, we got to uh, produce baked meat and we've got to head back to the sailor. So let's go ahead and get that happening right now. So we're going to have to fix this bad boy up. So this would be our little bonfire that we have here. There we go. And what we're going to do is, I believe we should have some food. Well, we got the food there. Okay. Uh, that will be soon-ish. And what I recall is, if we're going to make meat, we're going to need some bamboo. So, we will head around and find some bamboo on the floor, I believe it would be. Um, there we go. So we've got some of that there, and we've got some of that there. All right, so that should be enough. As you can see, there's a few things that we can reconstruct and get things back up and running again. But right now, we're not focusing on that. We just want to ensure that we are cooking everything here. And as we're sort of going through the quest line here, it has updated the quest. And you can see these guys are fairly interactive as well. So um, in my prior gameplay well in my early gameplay when I was testing this out this fella here who he was actually following you so I would move over here and he would actually follow you um, he's not doing it now but he was doing it right at the beginning where I was purposely ignoring him just sort of getting a general scope of things and looking around um, the base and everything like that so we've completed that mission fantastic if we want to go back into here we can I'm not going to get any of these right now so we won't need that what we're going to need to do now is we're going to have to start doing some crafting. We've got, we need to craft an axe, get some bamboo branches, uh, craft a pickaxe, get some stones and head back to the sailor. Okay, so we're going to have to go ahead and find a few bamboo trees lying about, which is good. We've got that there. We've got some loose stone here that we can definitely pick that up. As you can see over there, we've got some enemies, so let's go ahead and deal with those as well. We've got a boar here, and he's going to give us some hide, which is awesome. And we've got an iguana, <laughs> so something different, um, especially for, for those of you guys that are used to the West End schematic. But as you can see, visually, it does look really, really good. I, I know the game's only been out for a few days, as you can see, but the developers, hats off to them. They've done a really good job in making this game. Look, I know that they would use a lot of the mechanics from Westland and I know a lot of the icons and a lot of bits and pieces that you might that you may find may come into this game and trickle through um, I guess that's a good thing or maybe a bad thing I don't know I mean you, you can see that the the hairs there are very very reminiscent if not the same to that of Westland nothing wrong with that but I just thought I'd like to point that out and it sort of helps the development a lot uh, quicker you know for being um, a little bit more efficient in sort of repurposing things that you may have seen in Westland thrown into here but I reckon they've done a, a very good job in creating a different style of game we're going to get out 
into the map very soon as well but i wanted to sort of you know break it down a little bit and just have a chat to you guys about it just so you guys have a bit of a consensus about this and you know give you my opinion as well straight up just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea all right um so we have already done that i believe oh no oh i haven't actually accepted that okay i should have accepted that which is good because it's already um crossed off a few of the things that i needed to um to have done which is good so that that's always a good thing and what do we have over here another iguana let's take you out and right now i can start chopping down these bamboo as well now i'm not too sure if that accumulates to the fact that i don't know but let's take all those three meat um whoops no 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 he just starts walking away um so we still need the bamboo branches so i think i have to find the ones that are on the floor if i'm not mistaken so let's go ahead and just do a bit of a run around and checking this out as well just taking it in and appreciating it let me know what you guys are are thinking inside the comments there are you guys enjoying it have you have you guys liked what you've seen so far let me know hit me up in the comments i always love a good chat as you guys would know who've watched me long enough um but also yeah if you guys are actually playing it let me know in the comments too because hey i want to see how you guys are progressing with the game so far and i want to see what type of or hear what type of adventures that you guys are getting yourselves into so yeah let me know in the comments guys but if you guys are enjoying this please don't forget to hit the like button and also if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing and hit it hit that notification bell icon sorry so you don't miss out on any future videos i do play a lot of westland survival so that's something for you guys to keep in mind and if you guys want to see more of that, head over to my playlist for Westland Survival. I may even drop it within this video. But right now, we're just going to finish off this little quest line so we can get to moving. Um, I'm not too sure how much I need, but I need, I would think, a substantial amount by the looks of things. So at least the, the home base here gives you enough in terms of resources. There we go. Their quest is updated. I'm just going to wait till I break that node and let us head over there he is he's just walking out this way now so if we catch him we can go ahead and complete that don't really need to go into the um whatchamacallit into the inventory so that's all right now uh captain when jack is back take the resources from him you will need to wait for the sailor to come back take the resources go back to the sailor okay now i, I remember what this was so what we're going to do real quickly is I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a few things back here. And actually what I might wanna do is I wanna create myself a, um, a shoulder bag. Why not? So let's go ahead and do that. And now I've got a little bit of extra inventory space, which is always a good thing. I might just take that with me. For now, I might just, you know what? I might just take that with me. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and accept that mission. Okay, so now we're going to have to head... Ooh. Send Sailor, go back to the Sailor. Okay, there we go. Alright, so what this means is you're going to need to head out of base, go to the global map. Now, we are going to get to see the global map and for what it's worth at the moment. And I'll show you exactly, you know, everything that I've seen and notice so far there might be some things that i might miss so if you guys are playing this game let me know in the comments let me know what i've missed out help everyone else around myself as well so yeah this is our over map as you can see you've got the energy bar in the top left hand corner that is very much westland survival but let's take a look what have we got over here we can go as far as where the clouds um, allow us to go over here it looks like we are cornered off here so I was reading this before so the road to this location is locked in order to get here you have to clean the way first now i would think that these little um these little island gray things here that you can see in between the islands will be the blocking and the prevention from getting to those parts of the islands there so we're gonna have to leave them alone and shallow waters that we've got over here the boat is necessary for this there is some ai bases here cool thing is 
Um, you can, I believe, you can possibly hire, or you can make a um, become allies. There we go. You can chat with people and things like that. So allies, you've got um, zero of two. You can, it looks like you can have maximum up to two allies that you, you can help. Uh, sorry, that can help you out. So on and so forth. You've got the Dead Island over here, which is um, basically a uh, four skull zone. So we're, we're definitely not going to go into that there. Got another player island over here. We've got this damned island over here again. That looks pretty full on. And then you've got a few more other um, AI bases over here. You've got a green zone over here, which we'll probably get into in a minute. And you've got a few of these guys over here. As you can see, they're covered by fog. There's a lighthouse as well. Don't know what that's all about there, but doesn't appear to be any skulls. There's some wood, there's some metal that we can get from there, of course. Um, an empty base there. So this road is locked in order to get here. You have to clean the way again. So that's one of those things that you're gonna have to do. But I would imagine this will be a purpose blocked area because the development hasn't gotten that far yet and there hasn't been further expansion to the game. Because quite frankly, it only has been open for the only past three days, I believe. So we're not gonna be able to get through there just yet. You've got a temple over here, so Temple of the Trials. So this would be very, very reminiscent to the Canyon Trials back in Westland. So it's just something else there to note. But what I want to do right now is I want to send and dispatch a sailor. So I might just, I'll get this fella. Because this guy we've been interacting with thus far. So let's get him and dispatch him over to that base. Now he's going to take his time to get over there. So... Unfortunately, we won't know exactly what he will give us when he gets back. I would assume that he's going to find some resources for us and bring it back to us. So you've heard right. Those two um, crew members, they're going to be able to go out and hunt and forage by the looks of things. This is what I've seen so far. Um, and this is all that I know so far. But again, like I said, if we've got any more experienced people that have played the game so far, let me know exactly what they are doing and if it's anything that we should know about or anything else that we need to know about definitely let us know now the other thing i want to touch on as well is that there will be an element of pvp battles so you've got to carry on attacks um, on your durable neighbors get through their defense to the full chest of loot and let the mistress of fortune smile over yours just reading that off the um the uh, the game's uh, description there on the play store so i'm just giving you guys a bit of information here so there will be pvp i don't know if that's going to be already available for us uh, that i can't tell you right now all that i know is is what i know at the minute so there's not much else that i can sort of say that's going to sort of give give you guys further information unless the developers come out and give us some further info at the minute what we don't know is that there's no community page just yet there's no facebook page i did take a quick look to see if there was anything there check checked on the actual westland community page as well on the developer page nothing was there at the minute unfortunately so not much else that we can sort of provide to you is in terms of information i did check the westland discord nothing there but i did see a few members in there have already started posting comments about this providing screenshots and things like that so um, if you guys want to get some further information, I would probably suggest at this point, maybe check out the um, the Discord for now and just to sort of give you guys a bit of a helping hand. Now, what we need to do is we need to create ourselves a little wood um, storage hut. So again, reminiscent to Wasteland. It is awesome how they've done this. So, so you get your little storage containers as you do and you can pop everything in here of course you can definitely go ahead and upgrade these things should you have the resources um, to increase the capacity that you've got there i want to go ahead and quickly get this fella up and uh, up and running as well and resurrected because i think you can get some there you go you can get some extra uh, extra bits and pieces as well so if you want to get into that as well you definitely can and we can go ahead and complete this mission now it's asking us to create a carpenter's workbench, so we'll go ahead and do that as well. Um, no, we can't go in here, I need to go in here into the workshops. And there we go, carpenter table. I think I might just point, put them out here for now. I will probably start filling out the base as I sort of continue to sort of play on and things like that. So 
yeah we'll definitely do that eventually um, right now we're gonna have to go and get some resources do I have what I need yes I do and at the moment my fellow here is getting on the hungry side so let's go ahead and fill up a little bit and I think there's a well somewhere if I'm not mistaken um, I think the well was here last time when I was checking out the game so as you can see this guy here behind you now obviously he's your guide for now if you walk away I think he'll come over maybe no he doesn't okay as soon as you sort of get into the proximity he would sort of navigate and yep there you go so he can sort of come over to you and say hey interact with me so I think that's a really nice touch I personally I think I do there you go he sort of come over and he's wanting to grab your attention so obviously we're gonna you know um, appease his attention I guess so we'll accept the mission we've built the uh, the workbench which is great um, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to get a few bamboo um, uh, branches or trees whatever you want to call them and we're gonna have to make planks but what I want to do first real quickly is Let's actually head out and jump into a zone. I've been showing you the home base for a little bit now, so let's actually go out and venture out and sort of give you guys an impression on the game itself. It is night time, so I'm a little bit concerned about this, only because in Westland you have the Wendigo chasing you out of the map every single time that you're in, especially when it comes to night time. I am not sure if there's going to be something that will, you know, as an equivalency, that will come to this um, zone once you're in night time. And just as a quick disclaimer here, so dangers of the archipelago. If a captain dies of one of the islands that are marked by a skull on the map, his body will never be found, his clothes, weapons, and other belongings will disappear forever. So pretty stock standard. I'm sure you guys are well aware of what that means. If you die in one of these zones, you won't get your stuff back. Unless if there's a time sensitive uh, pop-up event then i think you would have grounds to go back if there was any issues with that if you were to die for some sort of reason but we're here now so we've got these fellows here these are corsairs we've got a ai guy just comes running in out of nowhere as you do um he's got a few things so we're going to take those the club i'm going to leave it's not something that i'm going to grab right away but I really want to sort of venture in into here and just take a few of these fellas out. So he's got some bits and pieces in here. Want to open up the chest, see what's inside as well. And ooh, with that, we've got some leather, we've got some thin hide, thin leather. That's all well and good. Now, obviously, after you leave the zone, it's all it's automatically going to reset. So if it was a time sensitive event, there's sulfur, we've got some coral. We've got some limestone. What I'm going to do is, if there's anything that I know I can get back at base, I'm not going to worry about and grabbing it here. So we'll leave that as it is, but I'm going to equip that. And we're going to go around and, as you can see, repurposing. So you got some Plantago there. Um, that was cane. Not enough for the cane seed, unfortunately. Um, that would have been just the uh, it's branch bamboo. That's your plantago, just to sort of give you an idea. There's your cane. I think that's like your your jute trees, if you will, like in um, as in in Westland. You've got some berries over here, which unfortunately we're not going to be able to get because we don't have the inventory space at the minute. So that is what it is. So we'll take a few of these. There's an iguana. Let's take him out. There's another iguana. We'll take him out as well. And we've got the hold mate. I think this would be your um, your ragamuffin in Westland. So same sort of walk and um, and sort of attack. And then you've got your course uh, corsair, which I would assume which would be your your tramps, if I'm not mistaken. And oh oh Jesus, you got a mature iguana. Oh hey, you are you're you're a big fella. Hang on, let me just duck out quickly because I don't have a weapon equipped. I've got, a knife, I've got that stone knife, so we're going to use that. I just want to um, just duck out real quickly just so I can get that equipped. 
and there we go let's pop that on away we go again and that's given us an extra inv inventory slot and we've got the use of our bandages here if we need to and obviously food if we need it which is going to give us a bit of healing ability which is great but so far i'm actually really enjoying this game um, it's a different concept different you know um different way of playing a survival game i know it's been done countless times but who doesn't like a good survival game let's face it it's a it's a really good genre something enjoyable and the fact that this is something a little bit different to oh here he's back again all right let's just take him out there we go um oh okay so komodo dragon skull okay i'll just go ahead and take that and let's go kill this fella here and we've got that there and we've got this boar over here let's take him out as well uh, click to open the inbox why do I need to do that for okay it's just telling me I don't want to take any of the items just yet so we'll leave them out and ooh, what do we got over here there's like a little cave set up all right yeah let's head into the cave actually I didn't see this in my initial playthrough so interesting okay so it looks like there's already multiple generated maps of the same zone because I did not see that initially. Quote me if I'm wrong guys. If you guys can vouch for that then let me know but yeah this was interesting. I haven't been down here before but again this is very very Westland. Um, again like I said I don't want to use the the reskin but um, you know uh, terminology but you, you can see that oh there's a gorilla. Oh my god, okay. Do we take him on? I think we take him on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try for a sneak attack first. Let's see if we can actually head, get next to him and... Holy moly, look at him. He's a big boy. Okay. Ooh, 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 okay. So, so these are like the bear equivalent. Oh, Jesus. He's actually doing some work on me. But we got him. We, we just got him. And what did he drop? Some tender meat. Okay. And some gorilla fangs. Cool. Alright. So there's a few things that you can get from this fella here if, if defeated. As you can see, there's a, a few of these um, unfortunate sailors here that weren't so lucky. But here's what it is. Uh, Duke Cloth. Unfortunately, I can't take all of this with me, which is a bit of a pain. I need to get a better backpack so I can take more things with me. Um, oh, what's this? A strong herbal infusion. I will definitely want to take that. Um, we've got some light bandage. Can we take any more of that? I might just drink that and I will use the light bandage because that's pretty much healed my fellow here, which is good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm actually liking it. Even though that there's a lot of Westland in this game, yes, it is from the same developers, but so far I am enjoying the concept. I'm not too sure what the developers are intending to do with the game, how far they wanna take it, but from what I've seen so far and from what you guys have seen so far, this game looks very, very well polished. It's not even a buggy game. I haven't had any dropouts or any sort of lag or anything like that. So far, she looks pretty solid. So I'm actually enjoying myself at the moment. A really, really cool game. Different type of game, different type of concept. Have I opened this thing up? I don't think I have. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think probably what we'll do here is, ooh, I'll take that. And we've got some rum, okay. Well, you know what? I've already got a satchel bag, so I won't need that. Let's just take that with us. I want to take things that are interesting so far. Things that, you know, are different to what I've seen at the minute. And who have we got over here? We've got another Corsair here. Oh. Okay, so we're in a bit of a fist of battle here. All right, we're going to punch, punch, punch our whole way through. And there we go. Gave him one into the gut and that's it, he's done. Level up as well, which is all well and good. What I might do is just to sort of get ourselves a little bit of, there we go, 
I'll just jump into auto mode for now. We'll get some bamboo, we'll get some stone while we're at it because I think I'm gonna need those for the next steps of the quest line. But um, as I'm sort of in the auto mode at the moment, hopefully no one comes running in. I'll be pretty, pretty annoyed if that happens, but I'll just quickly read some bits of other pieces that I've seen um, in the game description on the Play Store. So about the game, all right, so lead your crew for the first time in the survival genre. You get a team to control, appoint them to different tasks from crafting, sorry, crafting to defending your fort. Enlarge your team to become the best captain of the Isles. Explore the world of the Caribbean archipelago during the golden age of piracy. Hunt wild animals and fight hostile pirates. Befriend the Indian tribe, the Tiano, uh, Taino, I don't know how to pronounce that properly, and get to the bottom of the secrets of the ancient tribes of the past. Build your own pirate empire. Big deeds. Ooh. What we got here? We got a hold mate here. Alright, I think we'll be fine here. Hang on. Just making sure that I'm okay. I will certainly take that. Okay, let's continue on. Is there anything else that I need? Um Okay, so I've got that's okay. I've, I've got a full stack of um, bamboo, which is fine. All well and good now. Oh, we've got a boar here. Ah, okay, I see. Using the axe to try and defend myself. All well and good. All right, where was I? Um, okay. Um, all right, so build your own pirate empire. Big deed. Start with small steps. Some wood logging for your shelter. First tools and uh, then some mining for your complex recipes of weaponry and of course trading with Indians to receive more oh I just ran out of the map there um, trading with Indians to receive more precious items all in all it can bring you the prosperity and total, total domination of the region real economy and what else we got strategy is always timely fight PvP battles carry on the attacks on your durable neighbors. This is what I read before. Get through the defense to the full chest of loot and let the mistress of fortune smile over you. Craft them over 100 recipes. The ramified craft system will provide you all, all you need from a simple shirt to cover your sunburnt shoulders to a mighty pistol to make you your, sorry, make your ultimate argument in the fights because every pirate should have his own style. Start your journey under the black flag today and prove yourself to be a real survivor of the da dangerous caribbean oh, okay <laughs> and we've got an event that's popped up it's got an hour and 20 that's all well and good what we might do is it might be a great time to leave it here today i will film another video back to back so apologies if i don't address any of the answers in the next video but i will do my best in the comments section but please let me know what you thought about this in the comment section down below guys hit the like button if you guys are new to the channel, you want to see more, if you enjoy Westland Survival, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty guys, I'm out of here. Take it easy and I will catch you next time.